Rights and freedom of citizens continued. Enjoying yourself? Very much. Then we can take a walk and chat some more. Oh, you did not tell me where you come from. Oh, I didn't realize it was important. Anyway, we live on the hillside up there. My father has a big chunk of land that he bought from a friend. Well, your father was simply practicing his right to freedom of movement and residence. The law permits one to travel and live anywhere within or outside the country. Like Germany. Yeah, but that freedom can be taken away from you if and when you are in jail. I know people in jail don't travel a lot. Absolutely. Plus, when preventing the spread of an infectious disease like cholera or even Ebola. Now, let me finish here. Movement can also be restricted for someone in a rehabilitation center because of drug abuse or unsound mind. You mean a madman? <laughs> Silly boy. You see that poster on that wall? Yes, and it is saying restricted area. Meaning it is private property and you cannot just walk in anyhow. The same way you would not be allowed into a military camp that easily. But a military camp is not private property. Oh, I know it's not, but that is just the way it is. But fortunately for you, you can obtain and own property anywhere in Kenya. The government shall protect it, be it physical or otherwise. What do you mean by that? It means property is not only physical, but also may include things like books, songs, or any other talents for which you are an author. But like in all the cases I mentioned earlier, there are limitations. Do you have any ideas? No. I knew you didn't. All right. The government may claim your property like land for public projects and refund or settle you elsewhere. Follow the law when acquiring property, otherwise you will lose it. I know my father obtained this piece of land legally. And with that, he enjoys the right to privacy. No one can search your house unless there is a search warrant. No one can take away your property unlawfully or make you to reveal your family secrets if you don't want to. And now, I am guessing you are going to say there are limitations to this, yep. right? Yep. Any ideas? Um, not again. Anyway, you mentioned something to do with uh, search warrant? Exactly. Police officers can inspect your house if you are housing a suspected criminal or don't pay taxes so long as they have a valid document issued by a court of law. Yeah, it's really the long arm of the law at work. Be quiet, boy. Remember, I am part of that long arm. Can I ask you a more personal question? Of course, Emily. We are friends. Would you marry a girl outside your tribe? Hmm. Hmm. That thought has never crossed my mind. But why not? It's not against the law, is it? Exactly my point. It is your legal right to marry anyone from anywhere, so long as they are not of the same sex as you. And your partner is entitled to equal rights, just like you. So never think of mistreating her. But I fear our cultural practices would clash if she is an outsider. I agree with you on that point, but no culture is superior to another. So you cannot stop her from speaking her native language and doing things according to their traditions. It will be her personal choice. This time, I don't agree with you, Emily, because there are cultural practices that are so weird, like uh, female circumcision. I won't allow it for the sake of tradition. You cut me short before I was finished. You always do. Of course, any tradition that undermines human health and dignity, like female circumcision, is outlawed. Now I agree with you. You will also agree with me 
that your family would want a clean and healthy environment to live in. Absolutely. Who would want to live in a dirty place? No one. And you are also entitled to easy access to health, adequate housing, food, education, and clean water. Oh, I would like to have all that. <laughs> because you are still young, your political rights are limited. But when you become an adult like myself, you will enjoy the right to vote, form or join a political party of your choice, and so on. And vie for a Senate seat in my county. Or even run for presidency if you wish. But your political ambitions will have to wait a little while. So, tell me what you have learned so far. Rights. Like right to privacy, own property, political activity, movement and residence, family, social cultural rights, economic rights, and that my church has no problem. <laughs> and don't forget, they all have limitations depending on their situation. Oh, thank you, Emily, for taking me through citizenship. I didn't realize there was a lot to learn. Now, if you excuse me, I will rush home. I have some unfinished responsibilities. Are you free tomorrow? You can come back so we discuss your more important responsibilities as a citizen of this country. Afterwards, we can go down to Dunga and have some ngege and ugali. Now you are talking. <laughs> I will surely come. I must go now. See you then. See you, Luanda.